All right, Brian, hit us with a theme. It's time for the five-minute show in which we do five minutes of stuff for you. Great. This episode of the Five Minutes with the Fam, Brian's going to bring us some poetry he wrote. I wrote a poem. I wrote a poem. <laughs> hit us with that for, poem. For class uh, or is this for something else? This is for class. Allow me to get my, my laptop up here so I can read it. This was for class. The only assignment, the only instructions, write a poem. Is this a haiku? Casey, this is um, this is most uh, resembling a former Larry King, you know, what happened to peanut butter? <laughs> kind of, kind of uh, column. Is it I am uh, big tam or pentameter? Yeah, it's, it's I am it's I am big pentameter. How many, see, how many stanzas? A billion. It's like a page and a half. Okay. And this go. is okay. The title is In which I litigate pop culture for my own personal failings. <laughs> I was watching an old episode of The Real World the other day. Why did those twenty two year olds from nineteen ninety four seem older than I am now? I have a running list of fictional characters, all younger than I am, that I've never stopped feeling like. Preston Myers couldn't hardly wait. Corey Matthews met the world, and Topanga. <laughs> the pie fucker. Well, he fucked a pie, but at least he managed to stay married. Maybe a little Angela Chase. My so-called life indeed. Ferris Bueller was my older brother, and Jeff Spicoli was my cool older cousin. And if Spicoli was my cousin, then Jimmy Buffett was my uncle. Jimmy wrote Spicoli's theme, you know. I also don't know which way I should go. John Blutarski is my elected representative. I drove by Chateau Marmont once on the Hollywood murder tour. That's the closest I've ever gotten. And I don't know whether or not to be remorseful or grateful. I learned about sex from the tri -lams and how to talk to someone you love from Doug Hefferman and Ray Barone and any number of sitcom husbands with Jewish writers much funnier than I am. And now I have three roommates. <laughs> Sam and Diane loved each other, but they also hated each other. And it's played for laughs, unless it's you. And then it's less funny and more of a secret that eats at you and bubbles up like so many of Peter Brady's volcanoes. <laughs> 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 but, even Zach Mar but even Zach Morris grew up. And Wesley Crusher suffers from anxiety. And if nobody likes you when you're 23, then it's probably not all that cute at 37. And where did it get you anyway? But no one is going to leap in to set right what once went wrong. And Captain Kirk rarely saves the day. And Shane never comes back. And that kid shot old Yeller. Is that how you become a grown-up? You have to shoot your dog? Yeah. C.S. Lewis had something to say about childish things. You'd be better off listening to him. He at least had a job. I just have a room full of comic books. Just remember that the lion is Jesus. Christians get the lions and Jews get Alexander Portnoy. That's fine. I'm fine. I've got no complaints. And e plus. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. None of these kids got any of that shit. Yeah, it's, like, it's a lot of references. A lot of references. <laughs> uh, I, think, I'm, I think it's very bad. Uh, it's very embarrassing. <laughs> and I had to turn that shit in for a fucking grade. Uh, I do you, think at least you kind, of, you kind of nailed the tone of somebody in their teens to like like early 20s writing a bad poet poem. Thank you. Thank you. I wasn't I wasn't aiming for that kind of self-aware irony. So, you know, uh, awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I think I might just be somebody in my teens and early 20s writing a, a, a bad poem. There you go. I think I think mission that's accomplished. Gonna... Yeah, mission <laughs> accomplished. Uh I'm going to work on it. I'm going to take some stuff out, put some stuff in, what see where it gets me. Get? What? I haven't gotten, what? I turned it in uh, last Wednesday. I haven't gotten a grade yet. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. School well, hard this semester. Question. How old yeah. is your, your, your professor or teacher or whatever? This lady is uh, 47, 48. Okay. <laughs> uh, that like really embarrassing if your teacher was younger than you and still did <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, my sociology professor, uh, he already said he, he was born in 81. Oh. You know, oh. like, like, I haven't gone full on, hey, bro, 
we're the same. But like, I assume sooner or later, I'm gonna have to send him an email being like, hey doc, you know, we're, this, we're like the same age and this is fun. I'm pretty sure my history professor is like our age, you know? Very good. This is how That's it is. Five minutes with Sam. Yeah, you know? See you next time. Bye.